ten wild animals, people had as pets. How relaxing can it be if after a hard day's work, you will be welcomed by a bundle of joy wagging its tail enthusiastically? No wonder, dogs have been quite popular these days as company. Having a pet is what a number of people preferred to have as companion, especially during those nights when there is no one else to talk to. Why not? A pet is a loyal friend who won't judge, hate, and leave you no matter how moody you get. But instead of the common pets, such as dogs and cats, can you imagine having a tiger for a pet? Can you even domesticate a wild beast? If you are open to possibilities coupled with patience, perseverance, and dedication, taming a wild creature can become a reality. But of course, it has its limits. An animal's nature cannot be altered easily. If you are dreaming of caring for a wild beast, the Daily Golden Ticket channel will give you several options which you can choose from. Just don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Now, let us carry on to our top 10 wild animals that you can have as pet. How would you like someone as hopeless, romantic, and persistent as Pepe Le Pew for a pet? Reeking its way to the 10th spot is the black and white striped skunk. A number of countries currently allow people to own a skunk. If you are afraid that your house is going to be tainted with its foul smell, don't worry. The glands that is possible for its stinky smell was removed when they were still young by authorized pet shops. Caring for a skunk needs a lot of effort and time, plus money. A skunk is a voracious eater, that is why you have to look after its diet. Another thing about these intelligent creatures is that they are a curious lot. Do not be surprised when you come home to a messy house, as it tends to open cupboards and other stuff that caught their interest. But it's all worth the trouble, for this animal can be sociable and charming if cared for properly. Interested in taking in a close relative of the guinea pigs? Capybaras trudged up the path to the ninth spot. This creature is the biggest rodent ever recorded in history. The capybaras can be domesticated, especially when they are still young. If you are considering getting one, make sure that you have a wide outdoor space and a pool or a nearby water source. Just like beavers, these creatures are semi-aquatic and love to take a dip in the water. Its diet consists of plants. You have to have a good source of hay or grass to keep them well fed. Also, it would be better to get a pair of capybara as pets, for it tend to get stressed out if it is alone. Hopping up to 8th place is an animal from the land down under, the wallaby. In general, people are quite fascinated and curious about kangaroos. Can they really box? The wallabies belong to the kangaroo family but they are on the smaller size of the lot. Amongst all the wallaby species, Bennett wallabies are the most ideal type for a pet. It can be friendly and if you are lucky to have bottle fed a joey and reared it in place of its mother, it will definitely form a close bond with you. Just like capybaras, rearing a wallaby requires an enclosed huge outdoor space where it can roam around and an unlimited supply of grass. Instead of a regular dog, why not consider an animal named after them for its resembling sound? Burrowing up to the hole to 7th spot is the prairie dog. This little but strong creature is actually a rodent and belongs to the family of squirrels. Caring for one requires a lot of attention. It needs much of your presence and time. If you don't play and attend to its needs, it gets stressed out and depressed. Ideally, you have to get a pair of it or an entire family to keep it happy. Studies show that this creature is quite smart and has an advanced animal language. By making sounds, they just don't inform the others that a human is coming, but can actually describe some of the obvious traits of that particular human. Isn't it cool? Do you want a smaller version of a cheetah, but not as scary as the real one? Climbing up to the sixth place is the light-footed Jeanette. This cat-like creature is quite friendly and playful, especially if you started rearing it young. 
But if you want to play with it, make sure to wear clothes that can stand its claws. Jeanettes love to climb. And if one climbed up to you, it cannot control its retractable claws from scratching or digging into your flesh. Don't ever think of declawing it, for that would be a horrible thing to do to your pet. Since Janets can live on its own, getting just one for a pet will not be a concern. You just have to make sure that you don't have a hamster or any smaller pets within the vicinity for it will become its dinner. Got a sweet tooth? Love feasting on chocolates and donuts? Then what better partner can you have but this adorable sugar glider? Gliding its way to the fifth spot. Bonding with this cute palm-sized creature is so easy. You just have to place it inside the pocket of your shirt or in a pouch and hold it close to you. Even if this animal is small, you still have to build a house that can still accommodate its need to climb and glide. Despite the fact that this creature loves nectar, it is still categorized as omnivore, for it can also eat insects and other plants. For an easier way to feed your sugar glider, make sure to consult your veterinarian for other alternative diets that is suitable for it. Thinking of getting an animal for a smart breed? The fennec fox can be your best mate. Darting to the fourth spot is the smallest member of the fox family. This creature exudes a lot of cuteness that makes people forget that it is an animal that still follow its instincts. The fennecs can be as playful as a dog, but you have to remember that they also have their own ways. You cannot just squeeze and hug them to your heart's content. Since this creature is solitary, a me time should also be accorded. It is also necessary to have a wide space in your backyard for its home. In constructing its house, keep in mind that this creature can climb and dig. Were you entranced by Flash Slothmore in Zootopia that you want to care for one? Sluggishly striding to our third place is the Two-Toed Sloth. This creature is one of the slowest mammals that have roamed around this planet. Surprisingly, there's an increase in demand of having one for a pet. I wonder if Flash's popularity has got something to do with it. If you want to bring one home, Better be prepared. Sloths live in high trees and love to climb. Make sure that you have an ideal place that has high trees and provide logs and other structures that they can climb on. It also has a particular diet. You can't just feed them any kind of plants. Before you decide on having one, educate yourself to its proper care. Want to keep a creature that is like a regular dog, but better? Slightly striding to our second spot, is the Russian Red Fox. Just like any other dogs, these beasts love to hang around its caregiver. It will lick your hand out of affection and whine to get your attention. However, foxes will always have the tendency to display its wild side. That is why potential owners must study about foxes' behavior before getting one. Also, do not forget that they love to dig. So don't get mad if you see a hole in your carpet. Just like its brother, the fennec fox, its abode must be wide and take into consideration the height of the fence and the ground where it will be built on. If you are the type of person who gets to enjoy a pet just by looking at it, then this aquatic companion is best for you. Swimming and walking to our top spot is the walking fish axolotl. This creature is not actually a fish, but an amphibian, just like salamanders. Axolotl is an ideal pet for beginners because it does not require so much attention. You just have to have the right tank and purchase the right food. Take note that this creature is a carnivore. It will also be better not to put in other fish inside the tank for it will just be eaten by the axolotl. This amphibian is not the sociable type, so owning one is the better option. Now, it's time for you to head to the nearest pet shop or search online where you can get your desired pet. Make sure to check your state's or country's regulation if it allows ownership of your preferred animal. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for other fascinating features.